Welcome to the big special about CinemaCon on KinoCheck News. At the trade fair in Las Vegas, there was plenty of news about the upcoming big Hollywood movies. But we also have information for you beyond that. For example, on some Game of Thrones projects, new cinema releases, and the sequel to Godzilla x Kong. We hope you enjoy. A real celebration for all film fans. CinemaCon is one of the biggest events of the film industry and offers studios the chance to present new projects. This time, there were four days of interesting announcements and exciting trailers to see at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, and we made sure to summarize the highlights for you. Warner Brothers provided another pre-taste of the highly anticipated prequel, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga at CinemaCon. As Discussing Film reported, the audience was presented with new footage in three acts, in which different parts of Furiosa's life were shown. This was shortly followed by what was probably the biggest highlight of the panel, the first official trailer for Joker 2 Fully Ado. As already suspected in advance, the toxic relationship between Arthur and Harley will be the central element of the story, accompanied by dreamy dance and song interludes. Nevertheless, the trailer also has plenty of dark moments to offer, which are strongly reminiscent of the first part. The film, directed by Todd Phillips, will be released in US cinemas on October 4th of this year. There were also further insights into Beetlejuice 2, The Watchers by Ishana Knight Shyamalan, and the very first trailer for Bong Joon-ho's sci-fi adventure Mickey 17 with Robert Pattinson. However, this was exclusive material that has not been made available to the general public yet. Lionsgate also had a lot to offer at CinemaCon this year. For example, the sequel Now You See Me 3 and a remake of the horror classic The Blair Witch Project under the direction of Jason Blum were announced. There was also talk about the planned live-action adaptation of Naruto and a live-action adaptation of the classic board game Monopoly. Margot Robbie will be responsible for this with her production company, Lucky Chap. Toy and game adaptations seem to have taken a liking to the Barbie actress. In addition to Monopoly, she is currently also producing a film adaptation of The Sims. There was also news about Guy Ritchie's next film, In the Grey, is scheduled for release on January 17, 2025, in which Henry Cavill and Jake Gyllenhaal play two extraction specialists who have to rescue a negotiator from a dicey situation. A first trailer for the Michael Jackson biopic Michael was also presented on location. In addition to scenes from Borderlands and The Crow remake, among others, a real highlight for the local audience followed. The first trailer for the John Wick spinoff Ballerina made quite an impression at CinemaCon. Discussing Film described the screening as follows. You can see the origins of Ana de Armas' new lead character as she is taken in by the Rusko Roma crime family and trained to become an elite assassin. Her path leads her into snowy regions where she wants to destroy a rival family from within. In the process, among others, she meets Norman Reedus, who warns her that she may have overreached herself with her ambitions. She will also be accompanied on her journey by John Wick himself, who is already a living legend at this point. This is possible because Ballerina is set between the third and fourth John Wick films. In one scene, she calls out Baba Yaga, and Keanu Reeves steps off of a train into the snowy landscape in an epic shot. She asks him, how do I start doing what you do? And his answer is simple, it looks like you already have. The stunts and violence shown are said to be in no way inferior to the original. Among other things, the ballerina breaks the bones out of her assassin's elbow with brute force, burns them with a giant flamethrower, and puts grenades in their mouths. Unfortunately, the film will not be released until next year, following a major postponement after John Wick creator Chad Stahelski ordered numerous reshoots with new action scenes. Ballerina is now scheduled for release on June 6, 2025. Universal announced at its CinemaCon panel that the sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's will be released in fall of 2025. Although Part 1 was taken with rather mixed reactions, it was extremely successful with worldwide box office takings of almost $300 million. So it's hardly surprising that the studio wants to build on these numbers. On the other hand, there was new material for Despicable Me 4, The Wolfman, the disaster film Twisters, and Wicked with Ariana Grande. Robert Eggers' Nosferatu adaptation was also able to impress the audience with its first images. Additionally, there was a first trailer for the remake Speak No Evil with James McAvoy. Paramount Pictures announced a major crossover at CinemaCon. The Transformers will meet G.I. Joe in a new film. A first trailer for Transformers 1 was also presented. According to initial information, the look of the film will be something completely new. The Turtles, on the other hand, will return in two new projects. Not only can we expect the sequel, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem 2, but also an R-rated live-action adaptation and title, T-1000. 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin. A new Star Trek film has also been announced, which is due to be released next year. Meanwhile, Glenn Powell is taking on the lead role in Edgar Wright's The Running Man remake. A new scary movie film is also in development. There was also a final trailer for If with Ryan Reynolds. Fans of Blue Hedgehogs also got their money's worth as a first teaser trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 was shown to the audience on site. Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik appears in it with a noticeable belly and unkempt hair. However, when his assistant hands him one of Sonic's electric feathers, he regains his courage. In another scene, Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails on one side and Shadow the Hedgehog on the other come face to face. The film will still be released in cinemas on December 20th, 2024. The first teaser for Ridley Scott's Gladiator 2, on the other hand, was only presented on the stage of the Colosseum at Caesar's Palace. According to Variety, the teaser showed Paul Mescal taking on and attacking Rhino, a horde of vicious baboons, and Pedro Pascal. There was also naval bombardment, plenty of political intrigue, and two diabolical emperors who are said to be every bit the equal of Joaquin Phoenix's character from Part 1. Denzel Washington's character also made a brief appearance. Rome must fall, he says in one scene. I need only to give it a push. The movie will be released on November 22nd. Disney showed lots of clips from their upcoming films. These include the next Planet of the Apes and Alien Romulus, but also Captain America 4 Brave New World and Deadpool and Wolverine. MCU boss Kevin Feige announced that the official title of Thunderbolts is Thunderbolts, with an asterisk behind it. What this means, however, will only be revealed with the release of the film. Among other things, over a half an hour of Inside Out 2 was shown. One new feature in the film, alongside other emotions, are the beliefs that Riley develops as a teenager. They are collected at the bottom of the subconscious where the forgotten memories used to be. Director Barry Jenkins revealed that his prequel, Mufasa the Lion King, will contain completely new songs, but he is not yet allowed to reveal who is developing them. Unfortunately, a first teaser was also shown exclusively for the audience on site. The same applies for the first teaser trailer for Moana 2, in which she sings a song about returning home. Although Godzilla x Kong was only recently released in the cinemas, the film has already achieved impressive box office takings of over $360 million worldwide. The enthusiasm for the two cinematic giants therefore seems to be as strong as ever, and fans will be pleased to hear that director Adam Wingard already has specific ideas for another sequel. In an interview with Discussing Film, Wingard expressed his desire to tell more stories around the iconic monsters, and gave a hint that he is getting closer and closer to his dream of creating his own MonsterVerse trilogy. Not only could Baby Godzilla make his first appearance in the next film, but a very specific Godzilla movie might set to serve as a template as well. Alongside the first Godzilla and Godzilla Minus One, Godzilla vs. Destoria is one of Wingard's absolute favorites. The director particularly liked the emotional component of the film. However, an official announcement of Godzilla x Kong 3 has yet to be made. Wingard emphasized that Warner Brothers and Legendary Pictures are basing their decision on the box office results of Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. However, if there really is another sequel, which we strongly assume there will be, the focus will lie on Godzilla once again. It's been more than four years since The Rise of Skywalker, the last Star Wars adventure on the big screen, was presented to us. Since then, the franchise with spin-offs such as The Bad Batch, Ahsoka, and Andor has mainly taken place on the in-house streaming service Disney+. In contrast, there's a lull in the cinema, although several projects are an ongoing work in progress. But that is now set to change. With The Mandalorian and Grogu, probably the most popular Star Wars series will be getting its own movie, and there is already a release date, May 22nd, 2026. Filming is scheduled to begin in June this year. However, if you don't want to wait until 2026, you could possibly get your money's worth already at the beginning of May. The reason is that Star Wars Episode One is celebrating another theatrical release to mark its 25th anniversary. But also outside the space saga, a lot has happened. The Moana remake is set to be released in the US on July 10th, 2026. Woody and Buzz Lightyear will return in Toy Story 5 on June 19th, 2026, and the sequel Tron Ares is expected to be released in cinemas on October 10th, 2025. Lionsgate is also making adjustments. Saw 11, for example, has been postponed by a whopping 12 months to September 26th, 2025. The remake of The Crow is expected to be released on August 23rd of this year. After The Dance of the Dragons, 
Now the adventures of the Hedge Knight are following with Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight. Another spin-off from the world of Game of Thrones awaits us. The main actors have now been confirmed for the eagerly awaited project. As Variety reports, Peter Claffey has been cast as the brave knight Sir Duncan the Great, while The Hunger Games' The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes actor Dexter Sol Ansel will take on the role of his loyal squire, Egg. Knight of the Seven Kingdoms takes place before the events of Game of Thrones and tells the story of the young and naive hedge knight, Duncan, who travels through the country with his squire, Egg, and experiences adventures. Anyone already familiar with the Game of Thrones universe will know that the squire Egg is Aegon V Targaryen. Creator George R. R. Martin will be involved in the project as both author and producer. He will be supported by Ira Parker, who also worked on House of the Dragon. Martin himself has so far published three novellas in the Tales of Dunk and Egg series, which were brought together in 2005 under the title Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. According to initial information, the series will be published in 2025, but there is no exact release date yet. On the other hand, the announcement that the Jon Snow series has been put on hold for the moment is probably less pleasant. In an interview with Screen Rant, lead actor Kit Harington reported that they simply hadn't found the right story. The show about the popular character was one of a series of planned spin-off projects that were announced after the big and rather controversial finale of Game of Thrones. However, there is still a small spark of hope. Harrington still has his fingers crossed that the project could possibly be picked up again at a later date. After all this news, it's best to relax with our latest KinoCheck originals. This time, we have news on Star Wars Episode X, and also the first trailer for Joker 2 Fully Ado is now available. Be sure to have a look and hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed this week's news. We'll see you next time.